Earlier this month, a woman on TikTok posted a video in which she admitted that she walked out on a guy during their first date, midway in their first date, because he didn't want to spend $3 to put cheese on his burger. Apparently that was so offensive to her that she decided to leave midway through the date. Now the woman's changing her story after she received some backlash for it. First, let's watch the original video, how it started. Then we'll get to how she changed her story. Who knows what's real and what's not real? But I do have a point to make about it regardless. So let's watch. Guys, I just get back from a hinge date. Why am I doing this to myself? So we scheduled to go to dinner. We are sitting at the restaurant. Seems very nice, not a catch fish. Things are going well. And the waitress comes over, she wants to take her order. And I said, okay, I'm gonna take the Bernzino. And he said, I'm gonna take the burger. And the waitress asked him, okay, how do you like your burger? He said, how he likes his burger. And do you want some cheese on your burger? And he asked, is this gonna be extra? And she says, yes, it's $3 extra. And he said, okay, then never mind. I'm like, what the actual f I'm like, okay, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat my friends, you know, and see what happens. And he's like, oh my God, you have to pay extra for everything these days. And I'm like, yeah, it's New York City. So I got my Bernzino, he got his burger, we were eating. And once I was satisfied, I got up and I was like, I'm going to the restroom for a second. And I took my purse and I went to the waitress and I was like, hey, I just want to pay the bill. And I just paid the bill and walked out of the restaurant and I texted him. So I texted him, the check is taken care of, you should have gotten the cheese and I blocked him. Oh my God, that, that video was awful. Like that whole, I got my Brenzino. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which by the way, Brenzino, if it's on the menu, is among the most expensive things on the menu. No, you can tell how expensive the restaurant is. First of all, they have Bronzino. Okay. <laughs> She, she like throws that around. Like, look, it's not like, it's not like the most expensive thing in the world, but it's pretty expensive. Yeah. Okay. And then the cheese was three dollars extra. They're not eating at Wendy's. Okay. <laughs> so this is a high end restaurant. And so look, I have many things to say about this. Yes. Uh, one because I empathize, of course, with everybody else. But two because I experienced it. Not anybody walking out on me on a date, please, never. Uh, but. But being shamed by people I went on dates with because I was poor. Uh, that happened all the time, okay? So um, now there's gonna be a twist here at the end about what I think of her, okay? But but yeah, I can't help but to use a common colloquial saying, get triggered by that. So I went on many dates where I used to be a lawyer, right? And then I was a starving talk show host for about 15 years. Barely had any money. A lot of times the women would pay for the dates, and God bless, and I love that, and thank you to all those wonderfully generous people. Um, so, but sometimes the women would that I was on a date with would keep asking, Are you gonna go back to law? Are you gonna be a lawyer again? And sometimes it was just out of general genuine curiosity about right. your life, and you can tell when it's genuine. And sometimes it'd be over and over again, and then of course you'd never see that person again. So are there people like that out there who care only about your money and whether you're rich or not? <laughs> or do you live on this planet? Yeah, of course, of course there are. Yeah. So a girl being like, oh, I ordered the Branzina and he <laughs> wouldn't even order the cheese on his burger. No, I got no interest in you, none, right? Yeah. At the same time, guys, slight twist here is that People are ripping her face off online. I mean, right? look, I don't want anyone ripping anyone's face off online. So it's not like I'm saying I'm okay with it. But my my bigger point, by the way, we're not even done with the story. There's like so many other twists and turns we'll get to in just a moment. But my biggest issue is why does everyone need to detail every personal moment of their lives on TikTok? Like they do it because they think like, like my my followers, my audience is gonna love this, right? Like, I, you can't have any private moments, intimate moments, moments that aren't aired on social media. Everything, every waking moment of your life needs to be broadcasted to the world. And she probably had no idea that like sometimes you're gonna misstep 
and you're gonna show people a side of you that they're not gonna like. Well, that's the thing. That's why I have a little bit of sympathy for her because she's a, what I'm gonna, I'm gonna make up this term now, a civilian, okay? <laughs> so She's a normie. Yeah, she's a normie, right? So like, if you're in this profession, it's nonstop wars, right? Right wing attacks left wing, left wing attacks left wing, mm. middle wing attacks the other thing. There's the fake left, the fake right, like it's insane, right? And we're used to it and we're kind of immunized to it, right? But if you're a random civilian trying to get famous, and that's of course what she's doing, right? Yeah. You don't know that if you misstep, you're gonna step on a landmine and have your psychology blown up, right? And you're gonna have to go to shrink for the rest of your life. And that's what she's going through now. She's like, whoa, what happened, right? She's like, please, please stop, right? Because if again, if you're not used to it, it's almost like psychological torture, right? I've heard of people, I've been, I'm like, I don't even remember when it first happened. <laughs> it's been so long, right? But I'll talk to people who've never experienced it before and they get a little blast. Of online criticism oh, by it's, randos, it's traumatizing. Oh, yeah. their head blows off, yeah. right? Yeah, because they, they they don't know how to deal with it. Okay, fair enough. But like, again, I don't want to encourage people to harass her or say mean things to her. But she had no problem trashing someone to however many followers she has, right? Yeah, like it's just not cool, right? You, anyway, um, by the way. I gotta say, like, it's funny because the longest relationship I had prior to my marriage was seven years long, and it was with a car salesman, okay? So he wasn't rich by any means, but it doesn't matter. I, I obviously loved him for a huge portion of my life, and we were together for a long time. When we broke up, I remember that was the period of my life when, believe it or not, I had a relationship with Meghan McCain. And um, she had a show that she As asked in a me to. Friendship, by the way. Yeah, yeah, not that kind of relationship. <laughs> yes, okay. uh, somewhat of a friendship. I would go on her show when she mm -hmm. had a show, um, and I remember she kept telling me, "Oh, now that you're single, you need to go for you know high roller. You need to look for high rollers, high rollers, high rollers." And I got like wrapped up in it, and I'm like, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe I need to you know find a guy that like, yeah, high roller. Why not? No, I like the pores. <laughs> I do, I do. Like every time I like tr on paper, guy looks great, it's got a career going, whatever. It seems like we could be compatible. Not nothing against the rich guys, but like we just didn't have the chemistry. No, I know why. We'll get back to this woman, I swear, yeah. in a second. Yeah. But the reason is because you you're not rich, you didn't grow up rich. Yep. Yep. And so it's a different mindset. It's almost a different cultural language. It is, yes. And so that's why you have trouble connecting. Yes, yes. And then I met Christian, and Christian was like, I've got no money. Do you want to go to the park for our first date? That's, <laughs> you know? and that's your cultural language. Yeah, that's the language you is, understand. Yeah. And he's the best. Um, anyway, so with that said, let's get back to the story uh, because people were not happy with what she posted. Uh, so one person writes, you potentially lost out on an amazing human over a comment about $3. I'm honestly speechless. See that comment, perfectly good. Totally good comment, yes. Yeah. Uh, here's another one. Is this why I'm single? Because I ain't paying $3 for cheese either. <laughs> fun <laughs> comment, fun. And she's a Manhattan banker too. I, yeah, wow. <laughs> another person says, bruh. He got his meal paid for and dodged a bullet. Lucky man. Fair, very <laughs> fair. fair. That very is fair. <laughs> okay, so here's where the twists and turns come. Okay, so she gets all this backlash, but uh, and all of a sudden uh, she changes her story a little bit. So. Daphna, uh, the name of the woman who posted the video, made a TikTok responding to all the hate she received. Uh, so she made a TikTok responding to all the hate she received and made an interesting claim about the cheeseburger guy. So let's watch that. Do you think I don't know that I'm crazy? I'm crazy, but you're taking it to a different level. You really need to take it easy. Some people going through all of my videos commenting that I'm ugly, that I'm a four, that I'm a two, that I don't deserve love, I should die alone, I should delete myself, I should kill myself. That's not okay in any way. Why are you taking this stupid video so seriously? I'm having a laugh about it. The guy is having a laugh about it. We're talking still and we're gonna go on a second date. Like he, he's
He laughed about it. He's a psycho like me, and we're gonna have fun. It's gonna be okay. And you're going laughing about my TV? Yeah, I know that I'm broke. I'm a student. I'm an unpaid intern. I'm broke. My rent is half of my paycheck. I'm literally, I'm broke. And yeah, I have a huge credit debt. And that's, yeah. And I'm fun about it. I'm broke and it's going to be okay. And I make really bad financial decisions. Yeah. Oh, what? Okay, how are you guys laughing about it? You said earlier that you blocked the guy, that you left midway through. You lied to him, said that you were going to go to the bathroom. And then you left and blocked him after you left. No. So how are you guys not, laughing about it? No, no, she's none, none of it is true. Okay, so I'm gonna read you another explanation she had, so you know that she's definitely lying. She's definitely lying about one of these, okay? Uh, when she went to talk to NBC News, uh, she explained, this is graphic four guys. Diamond's date didn't spurn any cheese, she said, nor did she walk out and block him. Instead, the pair overheard a man at another table ask a waitress about the price of adding cheese to his burger, then declined it upon hearing it would cost $3. The interaction sparked a conversation between the two about what each of them would do in that situation. So now she's told a story that she walked out on the date. She's told a second story about, no, she's now good friends with that guy, and they're going to go on in a second date. A third story about, no, it wasn't her date, it was another person that she overheard with her friend. So none of these stories match up. So she's clearly lying about what happened. Which one's the real story? I have no idea. And by the way, I don't care. Uh, so that leads me to my point. Look, guys, I get it. She's lying. What she said was awful, right? Don't call her ugly. Okay. Don't say that you need you should die alone. Like we read you a couple of fun comments, mm -hmm. which corrects her, makes a good point. Uh, bruh, you got away. <laughs> you know, nice job on getting away from her and getting the freedom. That's fine. But you don't have to go nuclear on a civilian, right? She's obviously frazzled. But I don't believe anything she says. She says she's broke. I don't believe that either. I have no idea what's true, but it doesn't matter. She's not like a politician. She's not gonna pass laws. She doesn't affect your life, right? It's just a fun little thing on the side. You don't know when to hold them and when to fold them. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was about to say know that. Know when to like be playful and know when to go nuclear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and how about like everyone stop uh, thinking that we all need to hear about your dates and your personal life, right? Like, I, I mean, it could be fun. I get it, right? And people want to share it. It's that, but Anno, I think what you're getting at is there's this unbelievable, unstoppable thirst mm. to get famous. Mm. So people will do anything to get famous, but then when they get the blowback, and by the way, these days, guys, and we've lived this. Being famous ain't that great. No, it's okay? not. Okay, because in the old days when you got famous, you get super rich, right? But nowadays, a lot of the people who get famous, especially for stuff like this, they don't get any money, right? But they do get the hate. And in the old days when you were famous, you would get a lot of love. Oh my God, what a famous person! Now <laughs> a lot of famous people get nothing but hate. So it ain't all, it's all cracked up to be, right? But again, with politicians that affect your life. Let's go get the sons of bitches politically, rhetorically, ideologically, right? So that we can have a democracy. With civilians, just <laughs> keep their face on. I love that you keep calling them civilians, like as right. if we're talking about war. But you it know? kinda is. I mean, the only thing Alex Jones has ever done right is the name of his show, InfoWars. Well, the internet is a battlefield. Yeah, yeah. and that's, well, that's what it is. They're trying to deceive you with the wrong information. Yep. People are trying to get out the correct information. Those are wars. She's a civilian. It's a freaking cheeseburger. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.